All right, let me share my screen. So I can show you Science Direct AI in action. Okay, so here you can see the Ask Science Direct AI homepage view. And this is uh, really where you can start your search and discovery journey uh, to find summaries, uh, comparisons, uh, extract insights in response to your query. And that query could be anything. You can ask your research question in your own words, and you can even use your own language if you prefer. It doesn't have to be English. Um, but for this demo, I'll put in um, a research question and then uh, put the system to work. So as you can see, uh, your question will be uh, analyzed and optimized. So that means that um, any typos that you may have made uh, will be corrected. Uh, your query will be translated into English if, uh, if necessary. Um, any abbreviations that you may have used will be expanded so that the uh, search engine can do its work optimally. Um, uh, we will, well, the system will decide which uh, search strategy, strategy to use. Um, so it will um, combine uh, both um, semantic search, so searching by meaning of your query, uh, with a simple keyword search to get back the, uh, the most relevant passages of full text uh, from our index. Um, so with these relevant passages, the large language model uh, will generate a, a summary response. And as you can see, and this is something that is not you know, true for, for, for any uh, AI tool out there, um, is that every, in every statement and every assertion in the summary response is accompanied by at least one reference. So this allows you to very quickly verify the statements in the summary uh, to the actual research that it was grounded in. Um, and these references are not just uh, uh, titles and maybe abstracts. They actually point back to the exact passage in the full text that is underlying this statement. Uh, so in this case, you can see uh, the answer was derived from the results and discussion um, section in the article. So this really allows you to very quickly verify, has the LLM interpreted this article or this passage properly? Does it, is it in fact relevant to my query? Do I think that's, that this is worth uh, looking into further? Do I want to read this article in, in full? So I'll come back to this preview later, but before I do that, I would like to show you a bit more um, functionality on this page. Um, as you can see here, you'll be able to copy the summary answer, including all the references that were used, uh, so that you can refer back to it at a later time. And also, we've added an integration with um, my library, which is essentially um, the Mendeley library. Um, so if you have a Mendeley account, uh, you can add your references found by SDAI uh, to your Mendeley library. If you don't have a Mendeley account, you will be prompted to create one, um, and that is just totally open and free for everyone. Um, then going further, you'll see this section here, which says references from the summary. So this is really, uh, all the references that were used by the LLM to generate the summary uh, listed um, um, in a nice overview. And for each of these references, we've provided a small individual summary um, that will indicate how this article um, relates to your original query, which is at the top still here. Um, again, helping you to you know, very quickly decide, is this an article that I want to read? Um, does this summary, in fact, um, mention something that is of interest to me? And you can see in this case, the LLM picked nine articles to generate a summary from. And there's one remaining related insight, which is actually another reference, which was uh, not picked by the LLM, but was retrieved in response to your query um, and is also of relevance to your uh, question. 
And again, this in individual summary indicates uh, how it is related. Then going all the way down to the bottom, you'll see a list of questions. These are actually LLM generated suggested questions that can help you continue your discovery into this topic. Um, so you might um, um, yeah, get ideas of what to ask next, um, things that you might not have thought of, uh, different angles to the question that you initially asked. Um, so we've heard from from our users that this is actually helping them a lot to you know broaden their view and and continue their discovery journey so if we go back to the references and let me open that side panel again that i showed you before um, if after reading this you've decided you want to see the article you'll click on view article and you'll get taken to the article page on science direct and the second component of Science Direct AI will open up automatically. This is what we call a reading assistant. And as you can see, it will immediately, it will have taken your original query and it will immediately start answering that query. In this case, based specifically on the article where you that you're at. at. And again, um, each statement, each you know uh, part of the of the answer is grounded in the actual uh, text uh, and can be referenced through uh, the links provided in the summary. So uh, you can immediately see, you know, is where does this answer come from? Which parts of the article are relevant to me? Um, which pieces of text do I need to read in order to, you know, understand or get a, get a good understanding uh, with regard to my question? Uh, and this prevents you to from from having to read the entire article top to bottom. You know, if there's really just uh, maybe only one section of the text that is of actual relevance to you in this um, in this case. So the nice thing about reading assistant is that it um, allows you to uh, to chat, so you can ask follow up questions. For example. Sorry. And it will, you know, again, take the article as a source and um, answer your follow up question. If we go back to the top. Uh, you'll see this list of questions here. And this is basically similar to what I've shown on the um, Science Direct AI homepage. Um, the, the LLM suggesting questions that you might uh, want to ask this particular article just to help you, you know, get a grip on what the article is talking about and um, what, what would be of interest to you. Then there are a few actions here. Um, you can just simply ask the reading assistant to summarize the article for you. Uh, but what you could also do is ask it to summarize the experiments described in it specifically. So if we click on that, you'll see that it will extract the details of each of the experiments that were described in this particular article. And in this case, there are four experiments. And for each experiment, the details will be laid out in a very nice overview. Um, so the goal and experiment type, uh, materials and methods, the results, and also the conclusion per experiment. And again, you know, this this is uh, to to help you, um, um, yeah, go through an article much quicker and much more efficiently, and really get to the the the, the bits that interest you most uh, much more quickly. So, keeping this functionality in mind, if we go back to the Science Direct AI homepage, and um, Go to the bottom of the page again. Might have seen me scroll past this uh, before. Um, there's this button that says compare experiments. And this is actually uh, similar to what I just showed you in the reading assistant. However, this takes all the 10 references that were um, uh, retrieved in response to your query and it will extract the experimental details out of all those 
articles. I have to say only the articles that are research articles, so the ones that do contain experiments, of course, um, because in, for example, review articles or book chapters, there will not be um, experimental details to be extracted, uh, typically. So as you can see here, uh, you'll get a table that lists out per article all the experiments uh, that were described. And so that allows you to get a quick overview of every article in itself, but also to compare experiments between different articles. And this is, as you can see, a very large table, um, which you might want to, you know, take a look at um, at your own pace at some later time. Um, so for that, we uh, are supporting export functionality here. Uh, so that you can download this as a CSV and um, yeah, go back to it later uh, when you need it. So what we've heard from users is that this functionality would be really helpful also to have um, for articles that you've selected yourself. And we're looking into various ways of providing that, um, that functionality. Um, and the first step uh, towards that uh, is uh, something that we're providing on the regular science direct um, search page. You may uh, recognize this view. This is the science direct search results page. And here, what we've added is a feature that allows you to compare experiments out of research articles that you've selected yourself. So if I select these two research articles and click compare experiments, the system will generate a table like I've shown you before uh, for these two articles and extract the experimental details on the fly. 